Why, hello there, beautiful friends from around the world. My name is Black and Fist, and today I will be your host. Not just playing. My name is D Free. Uh, I'm on Mark's channel today, if you guys couldn't tell, and I'm going to be moderating the debate between who gets more ladies, who's the biggest ladies man. And today we have Mark and uh, World King Kanji here today. You guys, go ahead and say what's up. What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Where's your <laughs> intro, man? Guys, I'm fighting for Goten, and if you want Goten to win this debate, if you believe in the Goten train, then go down in the comment section below and hashtag smack that ASSJ. Yes, smack that ASSJ. <laughs> that is so freaking catchy and clever and shit. And, and uh, uh, Kanji. Oh, I can, I, can, I can feel like the anticipation of everyone waiting. They're just like, oh, fuck, have you really brought this guy along again? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, well, King Kanji's here. I'm fighting for Boo. That's right. That's right. I'm bringing the Boo guns. Hashtag big B U U T bitches. So big booty bitches. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Those are some really catchy hashtags. So, guys, uh, I'm going to throw it over to Mark here first. So, Mark, can, uh, he can basically explain why he thinks Goten gets more ladies. Mark, go ahead and jump in. Look, guys, look, I'm just going to put it down there straight for you, dudes. If you watch Super, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, and if you watch even GT, especially GT in this situation, we all know that Goten is definitely Akira Toriyama's depiction of the biggest ladies' man in Dragon Ball. Screw Yamcha. Screw Ten Chin Han actually getting bitches but not really carrying. No, it's Goten. And I'll tell you why. Essentially, even as a young kid, if you remember in, like, episode, I don't know, what was it, like 15, 16, 17 of Dragon Ball Super? He's put, sitting there playing with Marin. But then also in the movies, he's checking out Mai and everything like that. When she, <laughs> gives him that she gives him that Dragon Ball and she's just like, here, have this, guys. Have this. That's fine. She's like, He has bitches giving him shit. In Dragon Ball GT, he abandons his best friend, his father, and his niece just to go, just to go have dates with bitches and everything. Guys, go 10 for the win. He's the biggest ladies man in Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Z, any Dragon Ball series, and I'm going to prove it. It's funny that you're saying that, like, you know, making the thing about the whole, like, case with Marin act like it means something, but Joseph Fritzel could throw a couple candy sweets or something at kids, and they'd all still run up to him and be like, oh my god, you're amazing! They don't care about the person, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, it's basing Goten, like, being a ladies man because, like... I don't even know how old Marin was supposed to be at that, but if she's like two years old, that's nothing. You're pulling <laughs> babies. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> Go to the cradle, guys. <laughs> Well, on the, on the contrary, that just means that women of all different ages recognize <laughs> how savage Goten is. That's what that means. <laughs> Well, well, if that's the case, if that's the case, then let me put something in perspective for you, right? Opening statement, like, that, I don't need an opening statement to, to back Boo up because this pretty much speaks volumes in itself, right? After Boo smacks Bobbity out of existence, he goes and tries to sexually assault a girl in the street. <laughs> and aside from us finding out that some dude, some model dude called Barry Khan models his face off of Boo because that's the way around it happens... Aside from that, like, we see him try and kiss this girl. He's like, you think Boo's sexy? And she's all like, no. And then well, you think that's the end of that. He gets all angry about it. But later on, later on, if you go and watch back his introduction to, I think it was the 25th martial... No, not the 25th, 27th tournament, whatever it was. Whichever tournament it is at the end, I can't remember. Um, you can see all of the girls in the stands with all these Boo signs like, Oh my god, Boo, we love you! And who is the one out of everyone you can notice a mile away? It's the girl that he tried to sexually assault. <laughs> she changed her mind for him. <laughs> he could sexually assault somebody and she still loves him! That It's Stockholm Syndrome is what it is. And you've got to be... <laughs> Did she give him the cheeks though? Off camera, like backstage. <laughs> groupies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I will look, look, I will admit wholeheartedly that Boo, essentially at the very end of Dragon Ball Z, you know that guy gets a whole bunch of bitches. I mean, we see he has his own fan club of women that he can do it with. But <laughs> Oh yeah. But I will I'll I'll freely admit that. But I I'll have you know that Boo is paid by Mr. Satan to appear at those tournaments. He pays them with food 
and you know with a house to live in and everything goten at that same tournament has to turn down a couple dates a couple dates because goku forces him to actually join the tournament and you know what he does he says okay that's fine i got so many bitches everywhere that's fine i'm gonna just go in my own space i'm going to take i'm gonna turn this bitch down because there's 12 more and the, there's 12 more in the other way and i could just I can live with that. So you're saying that he went there knowing that he was turning down hoes, but his mindset was that he's got hoes in different area codes, <laughs> so they'd be chilling at the tournament waiting in their freaking audience for him. Like, go to go to That makes perfect wait, sense. Wait, 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 this wait, guy. wait, wait. Hang on, no. No, because if we're talking about the fact that Boo had been paid off, let me just remind you that Boo is like the only person in the entire series we actually see graft at any point because he goes and knocks the shit out of that guy to get money to go buy ice cream, right? And if Mr. <laughs> Satan is paying him to do this stuff, then what about the money he's getting as the runner-up prizes? You know, what, what about that as well? Like, if you think about all this money that Boo's getting and the fact that he can literally make sugar, the dude is a sugar daddy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I think Mark's got a valid point in that that basically Goten doesn't have to pay for it, but Boo's out there paying for it. How do you feel about that, Kanji? Well, he's not. He, he's like he's like a pimp extension. He's like the cane that the pimp holds. No, no, no. But they're supposed to pay him. He's not supposed to pay them. <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> well, we're looking at this in different ways. I've got I've got different ways of this lining up. But the fact of the matter is, fact of the matter is, Boo. Boo might get paid to do what he does. And he could take different girls out at the same time. Like, it doesn't matter how many ones wanted to apply to be with him or whatever. If he's got girls in the stands, groupies, whatever, that want to be part of the, the Boo Chew, who want to be covered in Boo Goo, and all, others, all other various types of Boo sexual innuendos. If that's the way that they want to go with it, he can take four of them out at least at the same time because we see him split himself up into four when he fights Kid Boo. Oh, I get it. You're telling me that. You're telling me now that that Fat Boo is straight out of hentai. Oh, I got you. <laughs> what do you think that thing on his head was, anime man? Chicks and all these arms and tentacles and shit, the shit these Japanese people love. I got you. You're telling me he's straight out of a hentai. Mark, how can you compete with that? Well, I just want to make it clear. Boo might be able to separate himself. And, and essentially, that is an interesting thing. He could take bitches out one way or the other. I'm saying bitches a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep these bitches in check, bro. He, he, could take, he could take his hose out one way or the other. He could go, he can have 12 different dates as, as he wants. We all know that that is just, that's something Vegeta says at the very beginning of Dragon Ball Z. That is a, like a play toy of a certain, of like a certain technique. Hey. The multi-form technique, come on. Goten knows that shit. You know Goten knows that shit. He can sit there and he could be pleasuring his woman and just like Oh my god. Separate into three or four different Gotens and then you just have this like chiseled muscular kid who's like just going to ram the and you want to talk about ice cream. You want to talk about ice cream. Goten is not afraid in public <laughs> to whip out that ice cream and give it to the woman who's never had ice cream before in his in her life. And he's just like, here, have this, take a nice lick of it, yeah. Okay, well, if we're talking about the ice cream, if we're talking about the ice cream and the cones, <laughs> who's the person who has the biggest cone in the series? <laughs> who's the guy who, who comes out of the ice cream shop and he's got stack on stack on stack <laughs> on stack, he's got scoop on scoop on scoop on scoop, and then you've got this woman in the background, a little boy, and she's like, oh my god, boo, your cone is just too big! <laughs> that is... That is Boo right there. And yeah, okay, Goten might have chiseled abs or whatever, and we've seen the fact that Boo can do that if he gets angry and decides to eat himself, but that's a video for another time. But, but Boo, if we're talking about Fat Boo, Mr. Boo, as in, you know, Fifty Shades of Pink, Mr. Boo will see you now. <laughs> if we're talking about that, then Boo's got more cushion for the pushing. You know, he's, he's fat, he's round, but damn, like, you know, he can mold himself into whatever shape you want, and he can, he can manipulate his, I'm, well, you know, I'm saying this, I'm speaking on his behalf, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I haven't asked for his permission to say this, uh, but he could most likely mold whatever he wants to put in a girl into a different size to make it more, most pleasurable for <laughs> the girl done. of her preference. 
That, you know, <laughs> deep can, can deep Goten do that? Can Goten do that? I'm done. You're, you're telling me that this guy is, is, is fucking <laughs> able to mold his thing. <laughs> Whatever form or length a woman wants it to be. <laughs> that is a cheat code, bro. What I'm saying is it's a possibility, but if you guys want to do the research to try and find out otherwise, that's up to you. <laughs> I need that ability. Fuck. God damn. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, no, 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 no. I think that... that <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this anymore. And if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put something to slate Goten, if we're gonna slate Goten, Super Saiyan powers are good. But who wants to? If he doesn't shave, that thing's a danger zone. If that thing gets spiky as shit, right? Nobody wants that down there. Let's be oh honest. Let's be honest. When you talk about Goten, as if like you talk about like basically forming and everything, let's be honest. You can, these guys have so much key control at this point that he can. I, I bet anything that he can. They have key control. And if they put like their key in certain places, they can enlarge their muscles in anywhere in their body. I'm sure they have to. Goten has to have that ability where we don't see. Are you telling me that he's going to freaking make his schlong? Because we're going to keep referring to it that way. (laughs) Super stiff and strong. God damn. (laughs) He's going to go on like great. He's all going to go on like grade two trunks or whatever. Just like... (laughs) No, nah, no. Nah, see, I, the thing about grade two trunks is I always envision the, oh, don't worry about the size, baby. Just keep looking at the muscles. Just keep looking at the <laughs> muscles, baby. <laughs> well, if we're talking about things that, like, you know, key control and stuff, okay, Boo, Boo's key control probably wouldn't be as good. And I can tell you what else isn't good. His narcolepsy that he's picked up. He's picked up narcolepsy in this really bad <laughs> sleeping pattern because he's up all night fucking too many bitches. And we see this because in Dragon Ball Super, he can't stay awake in an exam. I didn't see Goten sleep during that. Yeah, no, he also slept during the Resurrection F saga the whole time. <laughs> this guy is out there just pounding so much pee, he has no chance to sleep. He has to sleep when he can. <laughs> yeah. That's what you I'm saying. Think- That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's a machine. <laughs> you think you think he's up all night getting all the he's getting all these hoes and stuff and that's like no this guy we see it in Dragon Ball Super he's up all night reading some Neko Majin hentai porn <laughs> all night he just he just like streamlining you leave Knife out of this <laughs> <laughs> okay well okay all right but if we're gonna talk about that then how about let's reference the fact that in Dragon Ball Z he's the only character we actually see in the entire thing brush his teeth. <laughs> it's because he needs to brush the taste of pussy out of his mouth. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I, I can I can take that. But the one thing we have to look at, where you're, you're just completely overlooking in terms of what we've seen in Dragon Ball. May I remind you that in a hero's legacy at the very end of Dragon Ball GT, it is stated beyond doubt that Goten has no kids. Obviously. Obviously, Pan has kids, and either Bra or Trunks has kids to that degree, but Goten, being the player that he is, never procreated that he knows of, Damn. honestly, that we know of. There's probably hundreds of Saiyans out there that no one gives a shit about because they're not... Because he doesn't know how many kids he has, or he never procreated. That's a guy who's never going to settle down, never going to... He's just going to continually, until he's 80 years old, like Vegeta and Goku said in Dragon Ball Super... He's just going to sit around and screw bitches all his life. Oh, okay. So I see what your argument is. You're basically saying that this dude is the Charlie Sheen of the Dragon Ball universe, whereas I see it more as the dude's protecting his virginity until the day he dies. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think he got it at an early age. Like Mark said with Marin, man, he was over there doing tricks and shit and just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you watch, go back and watch this scene. Everyone, go back and watch this scene. You sit there and look at that 18's check and go 10 out. He's like, damn, that, that boy has skills. Well, I suppose it explains why Marin doesn't won't even make eye contact with Goten in the last, like, you know, <laughs> in the last tournament. It's like, oh my god, I can't even look at that guy. Like, for whatever reason, that's my voice of Marin, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, because what happened is he he got those cheeks and she found out that uh, he was cheating on her, and then you know they just they just didn't work again after that. <laughs> you know, people forget how old Marin is in relation to them. She's only like four or five years younger. Like, it's not that bad. Well, so. well, let's let's just let's just kind of say. I mean, like you know. Let's let's be honest. Let's get real for a sec. Let's get real for a sec. Get real too real. There are a lot of discriminative pe- people in life, right? So some people won't go into interracial relationships. Boo, Boo is pink. Boo, could, 
Boot even like gets angry and turns himself grey at one point. The dude is <laughs> most likely got a colour for everyone. Now, that just means that preferences aside, everybody has got something to get with Boo. But the people who are prejudiced and discriminative, some people are going to get put off from Goten. So doesn't that just mean that Boo's got even more of a selection? Yeah, it does, actually. If Boo can, can basically make himself black, he can get all the black chicks. If he can make himself Asian, he can get all the Asian chicks. You know, Boo's got hoes in every saying. area code. I agree. I agree. <laughs> That's he, what I'm saying. Like, you, can make your, you can make your arguments about Boo actually like going around and changing himself or having been around and getting people for five million years or since the beginning of the universe. It's all redundant because in Dragon, Ball's, Dragon Ball GT, he gives up. He's just like, screw it. I'm done. He... he Fuses with Oob, and he just doesn't want to have any more. I think that's actually, because think he knew he's that. Tired of striking out. I think he's tired of striking out, and he's just like, "Screw it, I'm done. I I've lived a life where nothing, no women loves me, and just leaves." Oh, if you you want to know what that actually was? What that actually was is the fact that he knew that Oob was was like a being in his family. It's like seeing your cousin strike out all the time, and Boo's kind of <laughs> like you know, you know, he's like this kid's got no game. I'm gonna shrink myself up. I'm going to give my game to him. And then straight after he does that, Oob is, like, amazing. Oob gets, like, you know, Oob gets, like, ripped and pumped and everything, and he is about to haul ass. He's about to beat the shit out of Baby. All I, this stuff. I, you know, will, I will protest that as soon as he does that, Oob does get eat, eaten out but by Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't like this comment. <laughs> I want this comment removed from the video. I, uh, I, don't, I don't like this video. No, no. I, I want to. I want to be. Look, I know we've only seen if we if we take this in one way or the other. Honestly, we never saw Boo have a date in Dragon Ball anywhere. We never saw him go out. We saw people falling, women falling over him, sure, but we never have any proof that he has actually gone out and had a date. Goten, on the other hand, we saw him go out with Valise. We saw him whip out his ice cream cone, give it to her his first ice cream cone she'd ever seen, and. <laughs> Oh, they knew yeah. what they were doing okay. with that whole portion of the show. <laughs> they knew what they were fucking doing. You know what you were doing. You know what you were doing. Especially when she started to lean in really slowly. Exactly. The ice cream cone. <laughs> that was just like, you know, that that is, that is an innuendo so, if I've ever seen. Okay, yeah, so we know that, yeah, he has. We, we haven't seen Boo. Okay, yeah, on an official date. I will, I will concede to that. However, we have seen him extend for a kiss, <laughs> which I don't remember us seeing Goten do that. And at the same time, we have seen more girls lust after Boo in the crowds of the tournament than we have done, say, after Goten. Because Goten may have had a few girls on the phone, but they may have been all the same girl. And if he mixes up their names, maybe it's just because Goten's actually <laughs> stupid. I mean, he does have his father's genes. Ah, that makes sense. I mean, sense. you know, yeah, it could just be that he doesn't remember their names. I mean, Goku only remembered Chi-Chi by... He didn't even <laughs> recognize her when she was grown up. You know, that, that dude has no game. Well, to be fair, for Goku, man, I mean, that guy was out there tapping pussies at, like, seven years old. So, no, he, he, was, he was, like, 12, but still. <laughs> hey, that's that's actual con- That's actually out of context. All of the people out there are going to miss <laughs> misconstrued that sentence, man. That's, that's not I, will, I will, I will, I just want to make this point. Because I already made the point that Goten went on a date. And we never saw Boo go on a date. And you might, and all the haters might sit there and go, well, you know what? Goten ran away from that date. I will make it clear that he wasn't running away from the date. He was running away from the threat of a baby. <laughs> and let's be clear, all ladies men run away from the threat of a baby. <laughs> exactly. No, we, we just, it's like, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Guys don't like to procreate. It's always the women that want to do it. Every time, every single time, it's always the women, well, and then they get you caught up. So Goten was like, nah, 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 fuck that, fam. I don't want any piece of that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and you're right, though. It makes sense. When you look at a hero's legacy, the guy had no kids. He just, he kept on that mantra, like, nope. <laughs> Even Boo didn't procreate in this book. Okay, all right. Well, let, let's, and, let's put this and, in a different and way. What is, what, is, like, what is this? If you look at, not just hero's legacy, if you look at Dragon Ball Online, I will make it, I'll make it clear that Boo struck out so many times with the ladies that he had to actually create his own wife through belly fat. Damn. Oh, <laughs> shit. He, I forgot all about Miss Boo Kanji. How do you feel about that? This guy had to create his own chick. He did some some freaky current Japanese shit that they're doing out there with those real life sex dolls, bro. 
How do you feel about that? Well, if we go <laughs> if we go further back in time, like to a logical standpoint, aren't we all related? This guy. <laughs> Well, okay, well, besides all this, besides all this, I'm straying away from these allegations, because these are shit. But, okay, Mr. <laughs> Satan, Mr. Satan, are we, uh, can we stray away from Boo for just a sec, and I'll explain why in a minute. But Mr. Satan, can we all agree that that dude knows what he's doing with the ladies? That guy, we know that guy is a player, regardless, right? We know that that guy gets around. Whether it's with Miss <laughs> Pizza or what. But yeah, if Satan gets the pee. He doesn't even know who, who freaking Videl's uh, mother is at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he's he gets so much he gets so much bitches that he doesn't even know who her mother is. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, exactly. So let's be honest, and he was so afraid of Videl finding a boyfriend because he knows what boys are like, right? So that's the case. So let's let's look at it like this then. Mr. Satan wants to do his best to keep Boo on his good side. He wants to make Boo as happy as possible so that they stay friends forever and he can manipulate him and take advantage of him all the time. If that's the case, He's going to know that Boo's going to have urges. And in that case, he's going to try and get girls for Boo as well. So he would have actually found these girls for Boo. And Boo, I don't care what the circumstance is, but Boo would have had a lot. I mean, Hugh Hefner's not attractive anymore, but a lot of people have slept with him. Does that mean that he's not a ladies' man? <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. And this right? is going to stay right there. <laughs> Just gonna chill right there, cause I ain't got no response for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his narcolepsy. <laughs> he might get them into bed. Whether he can perform is something else. His I'm, narcolepsy will. Uh, I'm gonna be honest <laughs> though. The best thing I've heard here, and Mark didn't even know he was doing it, was um, the reference to to Naruto, where he was like, "Goten can multi form." I'm like, I'm just thinking in the back of my head, this guy is gonna sit here and pull. A, I always wondered like if there was a Naruto, like a legit Naruto hentai, would Naruto freaking shadow clone into like 10 different versions just shadow clone kagebushi and fuck everybody in the village <laughs> just, just go and then just go fuck everybody then just come back form back together like damn i just fucked every bitch in this village yeah the, the only way that i could see that being even funnier is if the village was on fire in this, in this thing. made it sound like it was demonic or some shit <laughs> oh man well, are you guys? Uh, oh, you guys good. feel like you said everything you need to say here? I, I, I think, I, I think, for all those people who have listened this far and have actually gone and heard our arguments, I think the choice is clear. You need to go down to the comment section below and hashtag smack that ASSJ to vote for Goten and to show your support that Goten is in fact the best ladies' man in all of Dragon Ball because of everything we've said here. Kanji, this is your last chance, man. And if you're tired of listening to bullshit, then you know exactly <laughs> that you should go and hashtag big B-U-U-T-Y bitches and vote for Mr. Boo himself. Mr. Pink, Mr. Boo, whatever you want to call him, the Fifty Shades of Pink himself. <laughs> big booty bitches. Mr. Fifty Shades of Pink. Mi Mr. Fifty Shades of Pink, yeah. <laughs> you guys might have come into this. Well, I, I want to go on record and say that I'm on the the boo uh, oh. side, dear. I don't even know how to. I don't know how to spell your hashtag because it's like b u u t y bitches. <laughs> I, try, I tried to. I, I'm on I tried your to side, make okay? It sound different so like everyone would know that it, what you did wasn't just big booty bitches. So as opposed to spelling it b o o, it was b u u. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm on your side because I like your hashtag more. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> that's, that's what we found. So, that's yeah. what we found. Like, people like the chat hashtags more. But, but <laughs> honestly, guys, this has been a whole lot of fun. I'm sure, like, if you've gotten this, I hope you've enjoyed this just as much as we have. Uh, definitely go check out these guys. I'll leave their descriptions and everything in the comment section below and everything. Uh, vote, and next week we'll tell you exactly who won this debate. So, have a nice day. Bye! Can we talk about Gohan? <laughs> Gohan gets bitches. No, I'm just going to put no, that out there. <laughs> all right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Go, wait, unless, Gohan is, unless Gohan's going to that conference specifically for bitches. <laughs> it's a conference full of nothing but women, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't I said my piece. That's it. Videl must never know. <laughs> You're out in the man's game, man. <laughs> All right. I'm done. Teaching women how to fly, though. <laughs>